So what's your name and where are you from? My name is Max, I'm from Freiburg in southern Germany. Um, and where did you live before you came to New York? I lived in London, I went to university there. Okay, and where, what did you study at undergrad? Uh, I did aeronautical engineering undergrad. Okay, and what first, what interested you in engineering to start with? That's a good question. Well, I'm not sure. I think it's, I like maths. And I liked applying, not just the abstract maths, but I liked applying maths to things and seeing how, you know, you could do real world things with it. And I feel like that's why I went into the engineering path rather than the more abstract maths path. But yeah, it was really my interest in maths, I think. And what's your PhD in? And um, yeah, why did you come to look at Columbia and what, what is your PhD in? My PhD is in uh, robotics. That's what I'm working on right now. And what kind of projects are you doing with the robotics? What's, what, are you, what are you working on right now? I'm specifically working on hands, robotic hands. So uh, not just the, you know, the, the big robot, but specifically what's at the end of it, what the robot uses to uh, interact with the world. And are these uh, for people who have had um, lost their limbs or wh what are the applications of this kind of um, research that you're doing? That's one direction we work, we're working in. So um, a couple of my colleagues are working on helping stroke patients. They're building gloves for stroke patients that were, when you've had a stroke, basically their muscles cramp up and they can't open their hands anymore. So they build, they've built a glove with tendons over the fingers and a motor to help uh, stroke patients open their hands and to uh, uh, train their, their hands back into, uh, so train their hands back to, to work again. And then um, what I'm working on is more the actual robotic side of it. So uh, allowing a robot to uh, interact with its world, grasp objects auto autonomously without a human in the loop. And what are the biggest challenges with your research? What are some of the biggest hurdles you have to uh, I guess, overcome? I guess we humans have intuition when it comes to grasping objects, right? So if, you, if I tell you to, to grasp and lift a certain object, it's very easy for you because you've learned how to do it over the course of years and we're very very smart in that respect humans are very good in these kind of or just animals in general are very good in these kind of tasks where a robot has none of that intuition so for a robot the task that's really simple for us becomes incredibly hard so i'm working on or the biggest challenge for my work is that it's hard to teach a robot that has no intuition no no real world experience of the world it's it's in how to interact with that physical world